Hey guys, and welcome back to Artosis Cast. Today we're going to be starting a best of seven from the RISS, and this is going to be between DeWalt and Terror. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Two of the best in the non Korean scene. We have DeWalt starting up here in the top right, and in the bottom right, we have Terror. Uh, of course, Terror hailing from Peru and DeWalt from Russia. These guys have been amongst the very best non-Koreans for quite some time. Uh, I would say both top two within their race uh, for for quite quite a while. Uh, and probably still right about there uh, as well. Uh, and with Terror, I would say not counting uh, Mihu. Otherwise, he might be third or fourth best Terran. Uh, but yeah. It, it should be a good match. I'm really hoping so. The first map is going to be on Frost, which I don't really know. This is kind of a fun thing that's happening uh, in the RISS. Big thanks, by the way, to Remaster TV for putting on this event and getting me to cast it. Uh, but yeah, the first map in these best of sevens is kind of a wonky, different, f like fun trial map. So uh, like we've already seen things like fastest map played. Uh, we'll see how Frost goes down between these two. But yeah, it is a four-player map, just to mention, uh, bases in the corners. So yeah, let's uh, let's see how they end up opening here. Uh, I am interested to see this style that, ooh, 11-11 here from Terror. So already something a little bit interesting, like his gas a little bit quicker than normal. You have to skip an SCV to be able to do this. Uh, but yeah, this is going to give you a faster factory. And in fact... DeWalt's going for a Nexus first. Okay. Uh, and DeWalt goes towards the center. Uh, that's interesting. He might be going for Cross Scout. This has become a little bit popular because of Mini. Uh, occasionally, what you'll do is go Nexus first, Cross Scout. And if they're Cross Spawn, what you can do is uh, go one gateway. And if they are not, you go two gateway. And the, basically, the reasoning for that is Cross Spawn, it's too far to do a Marine SCV Vulture Rush. Uh, so you don't really need many units. You don't need to defend very hard. But if they aren't there, you know they're close spawns and it's very likely that they'll try to rush you. So we'll see if that's what he ends up going for, if he throws down that second gate pretty quickly or not. Uh, he is producing a lot of probes. We don't see the second gate yet, very quick gas. So it's possibly just kind of takes a risk here as well. Uh, but for Terror, you know, this is a faster factory. So you're actually like, when you figure out what's going on, you're going to be pretty happy, I think, overall, to be playing against a Nexus first. Because the quicker your Vulture comes out, the quicker your Rush can really commence. The Vulture is really the backbone of it. But one thing to mention, there is a ramp going up to the Natural. So this can make it a little bit hard. If Protoss can force a fight on the ramp, you're going to have units that are missing shots. And that can change everything. Oh, God. He made a second factory before he got up here. Okay, this really changes everything. Oh, wow. Wow. So Terror is trying to pull off a two-factory play. The placement of this factory makes me think he wants to float it down. Uh, and what you can utilize with that is like laying mines. Like, for instance, if Dragoons come up to pressure, you lay mines behind them. Or maybe the goons are just out of position. You run vultures into your opponent's base. Uh, in this particular case, he's run into Nexus first. So this is very bad luck for Terror. And this might confuse people a little bit. Uh, a lot of people ask me, like, wait, what? How, why Why would this be bad for Terror? Like, he's doing a rush build. Well, the hardest counter to, to Factory is actually Nexus first. Now, that's not to say that Terror cannot win, but basically Nexus first, because it gets the Nexus out of the way, gets directly into production and has the production consistently. Whereas it, with a normal build, what you want to hit with the, t the, uh, the two Factory is like a Dragoon then expansion, because that's going to put the biggest amount of lag time where the gateway isn't being utilized, the second gateway is going to come up later, and things like that. So yeah, this is a really terrible scenario for Terror. He is going for the three tank variant of this. Uh, only has four Marines. He's going to have to bring SCVs as well. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls a lot of SCVs here, just because he is so incredibly all in. Like, you have to 100% kill this and still have tanks left over if you want to win this game. Uh, yeah. Like, let's say that you end up killing this, but there's no tanks. Well, actually, I think DeWalt's still going to win at that point. So let's see what Terror gets to pull off. He's actually going up to the 
five tank variant. I, I can't blame him for this. I actually think this is a good idea. When you're in such a tough spot, you may as well go for heavier tank, heavier Marines, and then bring your SCVs with it. Rally up your uh, Vultures. He should start speed. Oh, he starts mines. Okay, well, he is very low on gas, so actually there is some sense in that. The mines upgrade going to be very important. Obviously, rallying up it quickly is important as well, which is why speed is sometimes a question. Oh, yeah, and I'm just actually just now realizing that you can actually attack in not up the ramp, but rather through the side. So, sorry, my bad on that. That's actually going to make the rush a little bit better. But again, like I mentioned before, uh, this is a very good counter to what Terror is doing here. The two factories still does not want to play against a Nexus first. Now, here Terror goes. He's leading with tanks. This could be very bad. He might lose a tank immediately. Yep, that tank's dead. Uh, and now another tank's dead. This is as bad as it can get. As you can see... Uh, yeah, Terror, Terror is not going to win this game. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. So Terror, like, there, you should just GG from here. Oof, oof. Uh, well, what can I say? That's, uh, that's pretty bad. Uh, GG. So getting directly into game number two here, we're on Circuit Breakers, which is a map that really hasn't been played too competitively recently. A few years ago, considered one of the best maps. Nowadays, uh, kind of obsolete. Definitely definitely don't see it that much anymore. Uh, and Terror going to have the luck to get down and scout DeWalt first. Look into DeWalt's base. Doesn't look like he's making a zealot or anything. Hasn't sent out his own scout as of yet. And looking back at Terror's base, you can see he's going for the barracks with no gas. So we are going to have uh, just a very fast expansion, like a 15 command center or so. Uh, he is making that single Marine, and he's going to want to get his depot down here uh, and go ahead and take a gas. Uh, he'll be very happy to see no Zealot being made. But yeah, it's a, a very good opener here for Terror. You know, it, it, that, <laughs> that last really quick game. It was pretty unlucky. He started second factory. Like, he had the build in his head, the idea of what he wanted to do for the map. Uh, and he he kind of had it set and, and ready to go before he figured out that he got the bad end of a build order. Here, he's got a very solid build order, right? Like, uh, any time that you go for the gasless expansion, if your opponent didn't, like, do a forward gate with a zealot or something like that, as long as they don't screw you up right at the beginning of the game... Uh, you're, you're, you're very good to go, right? Like, if there's something like a center gate, you can suddenly lose with a build like this. Uh, we've seen, even at the pro level, like, a single Zealot walks in and can actually ruin the game. Uh, but for, for Terror this time, the fact that he scouted him very quickly, he knows the timing of everything, he gets his depot, or his bunker up, rather, in plenty of time, this is going to be an easy defense for him, and DeWalt just expands, uh, you know, behind the, the rallying Dragoons, which are going to try to put on some pressure. So yeah, as DeWalt like figures out what's going on here, you know, it, it, this is, it's a pretty common position, right? Like it is, this is Terran advantaged, uh, but Protoss has a lot of options here and I'm sure DeWalt has played from, from this location uh, like a lot, a lot, a lot of times because, you know, Gasless Expand is one of like three real openers that Terran has at the beginning of the game. Uh, so, yeah, DeWalt, I'm, I'm actually very interested to see how he wants to approach this. He gets Robo right away. Will he go second gateway and Observer? Or will he go quick Reaver? I'm really unsure. Up at Terror's base, we can see he's going double factory, which this is what you want to do with the gas expand. You can do things that are a bit more turtled, such as... Uh, going one factory, armory, academy, or armory, engineering bay. Uh, generally, if you don't have really good intel as what they're doing, you're going to get that eBay anyways, and he is getting that for safety's sake, so good to see. Uh, DeWalt starting to put pressure on the bunker, but of course, Terra going to be fine. You just need one SCV repairing per Dragoon, and you need to check up on it sometimes, because if you ever happen to hit zero minerals, they'll stop, and also, they just barely out repair the damage of the goons so eventually they'll heal it all the way and stop as well uh so a little bit of checkups but you should be completely fine there second gateway and observatory yeah so it is that two gate range goon so dewalt is taking this very much in stride he's not panicking he's not overreacting 
he's not actually taking risks. Sometimes you'll see players take pretty massive risks uh, when this occurs, where they'll just be like, yes, I make two Dragoons and go three Nexus and DT or something like that, right? Uh, he's not doing that here. He's just, he's macroing up very normally. Obviously, we see he's behind in workers by six, which is pretty substantial. So there is some pressure on him to figure something out. Uh, this tank sitting way far back. He is getting a secondary tank. I'm actually surprised at that, honestly. With his setup, I think you can siege it here, and it's just as good as here. Like, there's no real way to snipe it here. you got to consider Dragoon range, because, like, let's say you sieged it here. The four Dragoons will run in and kill it, because it'll take two volleys. So you do want to make sure it's substantially far away. Uh, but maybe Terror being more defensive there than I thought he would be. Now, the third Nexus comes up for DeWalt. Uh, one thing we have to mention about Circuit Breakers is it does have a lot of maps. Uh, a lot of maps. <laughs> it does have a lot of expansions, right? It's a 16 base map. Uh, and that means that Protoss can, like, macro very largely here. Uh, and the, the center area is, like, incredibly important. Now, this is the only buildable terrain in uh, Circuit Breaker Center. So, like, if you're Terran and you want to gain a foothold, you might need to have some turrets here. But it's super wide open, so it allows giant arcs of Protoss units. And, of course, Protoss being the race that maxes out first, being the race that's a bit more mobile, they are going to have map control for a long time. The question will be, uh, you know, does Terra go for some sort of, like, timing attack? Or does he actually try to take over the center of the map eventually, right? And maybe maybe cut it in half uh, and take the other the other main base up here? Does he try to cut it kind of diagonally and suffocate the wall? It's, it's hard to say. And sometimes you just got to look at the way that the game is playing out to figure that out. Now, uh, Terror with four speed vultures out with those mines. Uh, this is how you want to do it. You want to get some vultures out there and just lay mines and kind of force the Protoss to play a little bit more defensively. DeWalt doing a great job catching one of them and chasing them across the map here. Uh, still producing three Dragoons at a time. In fact, yeah, even a fourth gate up now uh, as well. So he's going to have plenty of units here. The Vultures just look in there trying to figure out like, okay, wh what do we have for bases? Okay, no base here. I'm sure he has a third. Run up and see the third. It's, it's well blocked. Can't really do too much. Uh, but one thing I want to mention is the speed with which Terror is getting this additional command center. Uh, that is a very, very, very fast third base. And it's actually, I think it should work out. Like, DeWalt's adding a lot of gates, so he's going up to 8 gate right now, but we don't see the Citadel as of yet. I'm actually surprised about that. Where's the Citadel? Definitely needs to make that. I'm sure that that's what he's going to go over here and make now. Like, no? Just a pylon? Huh. Huh. Like, I can't imagine... Well, I mean, I guess if he's going for, like, a shuttle, he can make... Yeah, there you go. That makes more sense. He does start the shuttle as I say that. Uh, because it doesn't make sense to go 8 Gate Dragoon. And Zealots are only good with legs. Unless, asterisk, there is a shuttle to put them into. So there's a possibility that he's just getting that defensively. And there is a possibility, since it's 8 Gates already, that he wants to try to go over and punish Terra. But honestly, I don't think that Terra can be punished. I think he's done this really, really beautifully. It's nine minutes, and he's already got a third command center and five factories going. He gets his starport going as well to continue these upgrades forward, gets a second armory going. Yes, this is very, very nice from Terror. He's in a, a really strong spot, and a lot of it does go back to these openings. Like, Terror took, uh, you know, it's not a big risk, honestly, to go gasless expand. In some ways, it's safer <laughs> than a factory expand. Uh, but he he got that advantage, is what I'm trying to say, at the beginning of the game. And DeWalt hasn't done anything significant to try to earn back any sort of uh, parity. So, like, I mean, it's not that DeWalt is playing poorly. You don't have to do something wild as soon as your opponent has an edge. You can actually just play normally and work the work it back to normal anyways, right? Like... This is one of the cool things about StarCraft 1. There's like a lot of ways that you can fight back against your opponent. If you feel like you're a better player and better at macro, you can just take something like this, this position that's been forced upon DeWalt and, uh, you know, macro out and try to make better moves as, as the game gets bigger, as the game gets more complex, and then gain your advantage there.
But Terror, I mean, again, he's looking really strong. I really want to see him add a bunch of factories right now. Like, he either needs to add an additional command center or a bunch of factories. Uh, because it's, like, his economy is about to explode. He gets 2-1 going now. Uh, he is getting a dropship, which is neat. But, yeah, seriously, his minerals are about to go through the roof. He's on 59 SCVs already. Uh, DeWalt here getting ready to take some more bases. These mines actually doing a fantastic job alerting Terror to what's going on. And that'll slow DeWalt's Nexus also. A single Zealot going across the map. This is probably just to try to clear any mines that are in the way. It's a good sacrifice. And Terror, there it is. He's adding those additional factories now. Has that dropship ready, so going to try some sort of harassment. And you can see DeWalt just kind of making a big arc. 12 goons up there. Another group of units, Zealot Dragoon, down at the bottom. He does have his own double forge going. So definitely working on those upgrades. Getting some additional gateways as well. He's got a lot of Zealots coming out right now. Very steady production. And I didn't think... I would live to see this day, but DeWalt is just going Gateway Man. <laughs> well, it's mostly Gateway Man. He does have Psy Storm coming, uh, so it's a, a little bit uh, more sophisticated composition and certainly can punish Terran if you come out clumped. But yeah, making this arc on this map in particular is very, very powerful. You can't really push the bridges as Terran. It's just, it takes a million years to get over and Zealots can just kind of run in and absorb Tank Splash and, and hurt the Terran army. So you do have to kind of push up through this area. And this is going to be a great area for him to utilize Psy Storms, which is why he's left the shuttle right there. Now, this little drop, two Vultures and a tank. He's going to drop the tank on the high ground, maybe lay Vultures here, and he does have more running in. This is a great, great move from Terror. If he can cancel this, that is amazing. That's like exactly what you want in this position. If you can just stall out the fifth base... Because the fourth base here, right? This is never something you can really do anything against. Protoss always gets four bases. It's just not... It's like you basically die if you try to stop it. But if you can delay that fifth base at all, it really puts you into a good spot. So I gotta say, it's like this is... This is some really good play from Terra. I think he's done an excellent job all game long. You can see the supplies staying very close. DeWalt is maxed out. Terra is just behind him. He's got a huge army here. Uh, not as many siege tanks as you would think. Only 12 tanks, uh, 13 tanks. Uh, so the siege tank count is not that high, but that's all right. There are a lot of zealots in here that he's going to want to eat up with his vultures. Now, here he comes up to that high ground. Now, as you take this high ground, you can start to use units over the bridges, right? That's that's kind of the caveat about the, or the, yeah, the bridges being used. Uh, he does get down onto the overall uh, center of the map. Now, look at the amount of units DeWalt has. Like, well, they're both maxed out, right? So it's, it is kind of similar in that, but DeWalt's army can very quickly attack. In Whereas uh, Terror here, you can see he's trying to set up. He's spreading some of his tanks. He's probably going to want to lay mines somewhere on one of the flanks. Here comes DeWalt just as this unsieges. He's going to have to go ahead and resiege. We have the Psy Storms that are going to be coming in. Let's see how this goes. The Psy Storms start to go off. Those are very good storms all over some of these vultures. The siege tank's eating some as well. He's got to keep these tanks alive. So critical at the moment. Another beautiful storm goes down. And DeWalt will retreat, keeping the majority of his High Templars and Dragoons alive. So I would say that that was uh, very well done. Oh, he actually makes Archons. So those are going to blow up. Archons are not that useful in this matchup. They take a lot of damage. Terra, in the meantime, double expanding. You love to see it. Very, very good play if you're going to start putting a lot of pressure onto the map. But here's what I'm afraid about. Terra did all this off three base. If he had four bases right now, it would be such a better situation. So he's basically going three base, push out, jump to five. Whereas if you go four base while pushing out, and then you have a secured four base economy, and you jump up to six... I feel like that's a much more powerful play. Here you can see he's down a good 55 supply right now, having a hard time keeping up with the macro of DeWalt since he's only on three mining bases. Uh, backing up, and does he have enough uh, to clear these Zealots? That is the big question right now. No D-Matrix energy quite yet. Uh, it looks like the Zealots do end up evaporating. No storm from that High Templar. 
and this is a great push from terror he has gone down taken the front of these bridges and now he's the one that's kind of controlling the center of the map at least for this moment now if he can con continue to hold here and push up into this area that becomes really powerful for terran you can kill this base and you shut off circulation down to the fourth so the third and the fourth get killed very quickly at that point and you just kind of contain everything else that is what Terror is going for here. He's trying to move up. Some Zealot Bombs going out onto the Siege Tanks. Well, it looks like this tank going to get... Oh, that's a beautiful D-Matrix. Really killing a lot of Zealots uh, by keeping that tank alive for extra time. Having a really hard time killing that tank, in fact. Oh my god, Terror is just pushing DeWalt back so hard at the moment. Well, a couple high templars in that shuttle still finally kills off the tank gonna get another one off on some of these vultures kills four of them off but the push from terror continues uh he's got a very healthy factory count continuing to rally down and dewalt is doing his best to try to push back here has a lot of dragoons it's not that many siege tanks here so he can take a few hits but he can't sustain it for too long the arbiter comes out does provide that momentary cloak before the scan comes down that is going to allow him to take a little bit better engagement he's going to knock out this tank that was hitting his fourth base so that's good at least no storm ready yet quite here for dewalt uh, and he is going to end up losing a lot of units once again. You can see Terra has gotten the supply of DeWalt down very, very far. Both of them getting really low. And in this type of situation, it starts to become very good for Terran. The Vultures rally across the map so, so quickly. And there's no critical mass for DeWalt to actually break through. He does utilize this Arbiter and the Cloaking to kill off this tank again, keeping that fourth base going. More units flooding out of the main base of DeWalt while he tries to break through here. Looks like the shuttle going up and dropping on top uh, of these siege tanks. Can he actually break out? Like, he hasn't lost his third base. He hasn't lost his fourth base. He's still fighting for these mining locations, which, by the way, are so, so important in this game. The stasis, I mean, is doing a good job of keeping the Nexus alive but we're not seeing enough gateway units come out to actually remove Terror's army. More are flooding out now. Yeah, he will take some big hits right there. Backs up, and it looks like this third base has been won by Terror. I think DeWalt will back up for now. Taking a look at the map, 12 o'clock still not taken, but he does have SCVs getting over to those other two additional bases, so... Really strong plays here from Terror. I, I think he's actually just going to be able to take this game, honestly. If he does this nice and slowly, like the way he's doing it, it's so hard for DeWalt to break out. And DeWalt chasing down the rallying units. It kind of rallied sloppily over the bridge. But he's killed the third. The fourth base is going to fall. DeWalt gets a decent amount of the probes out to go over to this other natural. He does have good mining in the main base down here. A couple gateways. Making DTs, that's a better thing to defend that fringe base with. Uh, it takes, it taxes a lot of the attention of Terran. And yeah, he's going to be able to kill that fourth. Maybe line up a few tanks here just to keep that containment going. I think that's a really important thing. You want to make sure that the circulation is not easy for Protoss here. Uh, looks like DeWalt's going to try to get out over the bridges. Nothing is really in position here. And a little bit of a flank as well. More units coming in. So we have double flanks occurring right now. Uh, Stasis goes down on a big chunk of this army. A bunch of very damaged siege tanks remain. And actually, DeWalt is taking this fight beautifully. I didn't think he'd be able to get out of there so easily. I think uh, Terror definitely made a mistake not utilizing this area to cover here and here. Uh, and then what you can do is once those areas are covered, you can put just a few units here, which cover that bridge. And then those units are covered by these units, right? So, like, there are good containment strategies uh, in place for circuit breakers. But instead, it looks like Terra wanted to regroup his entire army, which is okay. He is up in army supply. Uh, he is doing a great job. There is a little bit of harassment going on over here, which is highly annoying. More SCVs going there as well. Terra is going to want to send a few units over to clean this up. But yeah, this is... Oh god, he walks right right by the mines. Very painful. Uh, what he has done is opened up the map to DeWalt a little bit, right? So he took a situation where there could have been a beautiful containment 
uh, which Protoss hates to deal with, by the way. A lot of TVP wins happen when you contain them right around their natural base, which is what we kind of saw happening. Oh my god, that Psy Storm. 16 kills. Just absurd. The DT's in the main base as well, getting some more. That does a big number to uh, Terror's economy. He's lost over 20 SCVs in the top left of the map. Uh, he does have some random units in the middle of the map. He has great upgrades with that plus three. Dwalt, in the meantime, taking a couple of Nexuses. He realizes this is his opportunity to regrow. Clearing the middle a little bit. Yeah, going to have to back up for now. Hmm, DeWalt clearing mines all over the place. Now, obviously, this army uh, of terror is very scary. He's actually mixed in a huge amount of Goliaths, which isn't super common, but I do like it against the Arbiters. If you can pick Arbiters off, that's like a great way to just end up winning the game. If they don't have the Arbiters, it turns into such a gateway composition. It just doesn't trade that well. Now, DeWalt going for a little bit of a counterattack. Seems like there's still plenty of defense here, so he's going to have to just pull back. Loses the goon or two. Uh, and doesn't get too, too much done there. In the meantime, Terror trying to push this bridge, but unfortunately for him, a gigantic flank coming in from DeWalt. This is not what you want to see as Terror. This is a crucial moment in this game. The fact that uh, he's losing this army, there's no more map control for Terror at all. Look at his supply fall down. This is a very, very bad situation for Terror. That was, like, very expensive units, too. A lot of Goliaths, a lot of siege tanks. Uh, and, look, there are some little attacks still headed towards his top left. Don't forget there's Arbiter, so there's a possibility of recall. I really think that Terror just made his second big mistake of the game, uh, unfortunately. You know, the first not getting the containment up and now losing that army, just not having enough units here to stop the incoming uh, flank from DeWalt. So DeWalt now starting to deal some real harassment in the top left of this map. What? Okay, let's let's zoom out a little bit. Let's take a look at what's actually going on. So DeWalt, very healthy base. Very healthy base. Healthy base, but not good probe saturation. Medium, good probe saturation. Empty, empty. Okay, Terror, empty, empty, empty. Bad saturation, medium saturation. Okay. Uh, so Terror basically needs... Let's zoom way out. He needs to defend this area. That's tough. You need a big army because to defend this area, you probably need units here because if you defend from this spot and here, you can't go over to help this area, right? So DeWall is going to have two big areas he can attack into. The main base where all the units are, that's going to be a little bit harder. Or over here where all the mining is. DeWalt right now decides to go up towards that main base area, goes up this ramp rather than over those bridges. A smart move. There's not a lot of defense left over. The oh, he actually is going for 12 o'clock? There's a lot of tanks here, so I think he will be blocked there at least. Turns around as he sees the tanks coming. Uh, obviously, a bunker with two unupgraded Marines not going to do anything for him. It's like killing a supply depot at this point. Gets in on top of these tanks, and there's not a lot of units here. Not a lot of units left over for Terror. He does come up the ramp with these other units. A nice storm goes off, but DeWalt is starting to get very, uh, a very favorable position. He's got so much mining going on. There's no pressure on the map from Terror. Very tough situation for our Terran pro. Huh. Okay, let's see. Oh, man. DeWalt is up by, like, almost 100 supply right now. Honestly, I think this game is over. That's too bad, too. Uh, starting out 0-2 in a best of seven is painful. Terra has time to come back. Uh, but especially this game, because Terra absolutely had the lead. He had the lead on opening build orders. Uh, his execution of coming out into the map was really, really strong. He got up to five bases, was killing bases of DeWalt's. And then just he let DeWalt breathe for a moment. And immediately, immediately DeWalt punishing him for it. So now Terror is trying his best to spread out and defend everything. That is going to be a tough one, though. Oof. He's got a few units still rallying out of his factories, so he's going to have to set those up nicely. I think you have to give up 12 and just defend it as two different locations, honestly. 
you can't do this continuous defense of moving back and forth, and you're going to see that as this flank comes in from DeWalt. Oh, man, it does look like DeWalt is going to be able to break everything all at once. Units flooding through. And, well, I think that's going to be it, guys. I think it's going to be a 2-0 advantage here for DeWalt in this best of seven series uh, in the RISS. As he kills 12 o'clock. Terror, I think, it's just about time to GG. He knows. You know, when you're down at 90 supply, unless Protoss is basically dead, you're you're not you're not coming back in that game. So Dewalt's just gonna attack in a line. There's only three siege tanks here uh, to try to defend. He does have uh, the possibility of stasis. GG, Dewalt leads two to zero.